Hello, everyone. Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 11th, 2020. I noticed something about today's date. If we wrote it in numbers, it would be 11, 11, 2020 today. That's kind of interesting. All right. So let's talk about our agenda today. Um, we're doing our morning message right now. Um, also, I've sent the agenda to everyone's parent email and student email um, so that if you want to print it off, you could do that a little bit easier than trying to grab it out of Edmodo. Um, today, we're going to work on correcting page 42 in our morning work and doing page 43 so that we can finish uh, correcting it on the next school day, um, which would be Monday. Um, vocabulary week seven, we're doing our wow word and our picture dictionary. Um, so there is a video for morning work and a video for vocabulary. Then there's a video for grammar. We're doing the unit one review task cards today. And then again, spelling city, um, C7 words with the OI. You have four activities to do for the week and then practicing for the test. I have a mistake on there. The test is actually going to be open to start on Thursday. So because Friday is actually technically parent teacher conference day. Um, so I'm going to change that and put that in as Thursday, but you have all weekend to get it done as long as it's done by Sunday at six o'clock. That's when I turn in my attendance and my grades. So um, that's when we would have to have that. We're going to talk about Spelling City again in just a few minutes, um, but let's go through the agenda first. Math, we're doing lesson 3.2. There is a video to watch. In extra math, um, you are going, you are all on multiplication, and I have adjusted the time um, to five seconds um, so that you can maybe have a little bit more thinking time to do your math facts. You have all of your starred assignments. Now, those starred assignments, there's a bunch. Those aren't all due this week. Remember, just, you know, a little bit at a time. Don't just do one a week because then you'll you'll never get finished. But, you know, maybe one a day. One a day might be good. Um, social studies and science. We have a video. Um, I need to put that in there, too. We have a video for um, uh, social studies. And you'll find that in that social studies and science folder. And then um, something happened and I had to pause it and it, it's went ahead and ended instead. So I made a video for geography and science. So you'll need to watch both of those. Um, in Edmodo, we have a question um, from our vocabulary lesson. So you're gonna want to um, do our vocabulary lesson first. And I'm just getting this all changed while we're talking. I'm gonna change our date on our test. All right, and then you have a math question that's based on our lesson today from um, um, correct uh, from lesson 3.2. And then there'll be a Zoom meeting. I'll send the invitation to your student email. Um, also, in math, I just wanted to show you real quick. Go into folders. IXL, if you look in IXL, there right here is a list of IXL starred assignments for topic three. That's where you can find all of the work you need to do. But right above it, look what I got in the mail today. Uh, well, an email today. 15,000 math questions we've done. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, it's just wanting to move. So 15,000 math questions. So I was very excited. I put your certificate in IXL. All right. Let's go over here to Spelling City. Just wanted to talk real quick. When you log in, you need to make sure you go over here and it, that make sure it's on the home page. Then it will tell you right here what your assignments are. Okay. Um, it won't let you skip. You have to do them in order. And right down here, it'll tell you which ones you've already completed. So as you finish them, you can check them to see that they're done. Also right here, see where my cursor is? It'll tell you how many of your assignments you have done like four, zero out of four, um, when the due date is for everything to be done. Um, up here on the top, if you go to lists and games, 
um, sometimes you're going to be clicking on the wrong list and you're going to get a list that's not yours. So always doing it from the home page and that way you'll find what you need when you're done with all of your assignments so when you get to the last one number four if you want to go and do some more practice you can go to games um, and just pick one of these and just do games and you can do any of these games and it'll have our spelling words in there it's just tons of games so you can do that after you get done with your four activities so make sure you have that done um, so far right now I have, uh, so we have 28 students. So right now I have five students who are done with all of them. I have 11 students that are halfway and I have 10 students who have only one assignment done or zero assignments. They haven't done any assignments yet. So we're at the halfway mark, um, actually close to the end of the week already since it's a short week. So. I really want to encourage you to make sure you're getting in there and doing your spelling city activities. You always want to have that done. It is one of the few grades that I actually collect and put into the grade book and it can make your grades go really fast. So just make sure that you're getting that done. All right. Um, back to our agenda. I think we're good. I think that's it. Um, you have some videos to watch today and some schoolwork to get done and then your questions to answer. And then I'll see you if you can make it to our Zoom meeting. Um, and if you need anything else, um, let me know. If your parents haven't made a, um, an appointment to do a parent-teacher conference with me, um, I have Friday available. So if you could encourage them to go on and log in to the form and fill that out and get a time to meet on Friday, that would be wonderful. If there is any reason that somebody in your family can't, like your parents can't meet on one of the day, one of the times that I have or the day that I have, have them send me a private email so that I can get some other time set up with them because I really would like to talk to everybody because we are at the end of quarter one. We are at the beginning of quarter two um, and I want to make sure everyone is successful and, and, and has it down now. So, all right, guys, that's enough. I will let you get your, your work started. I hope you have a fabulous day. Um, and I will see you in our videos. I'll, I'm heading over to morning work right now.